Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raoukela in the year 2020 and currently I'm a mathematics teacher. Now let's see how to solve this uh, given set of equations with the help of Kramer's rule. Now first, first just write down the given equations as it is. In any question, it's always better to put down the data as it is. Fine. Next. Next. The given equations can be written as, I'm going to write these given equations in a matrix form. Okay. When I'll multiply two matrices, I'll be getting a uh, RHS. Okay. Now, how would that be written is like this. Wondering how to write it? It's very simple. Okay. Just what you could do is just put down the coefficients as it is like two. Uh, beside x, there is two. And beside y, there is minus one. And beside z, there is three. So in this way, you could go on like one, 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 and one minus one, one. And into x, y, z would give you ultimately nine, six, two. Okay, if you will perform this ma perform this uh, matrix multiplication and you know simplify it, you would ultimately get these three equations. Fine. Let's go ahead. Now I'm going to take this first matrix as A. I'm going to take the second matrix as X and the and this matrix on the RHS as D. So basically, I'll get AX equal to T, D. This is what my equation is, which I need to solve with the help of Kramer's rule. Fine. Now. Now there will be like four parts I need, which I need to find out. First is delta, delta one, delta two, and delta three. And then x, y, z you can find out uh, very easily at the end. Fine. Now how to do that? Stay with me. Delta. This delta is nothing but debt of a. Okay. This matrix you see uh, a. I'm just going to find out its debt so that uh, I can get delta. Fine. Now how to get? Now how to find out this determinant? It's kind of simple. In case if you're not familiar, I'll explain in detail. I'll explain the first determinant in detail. The next three determinants, I'll go a bit fast. Now listen to me carefully. There's nothing but, there's nothing but two into, two into determinant of one, one minus one, one. Now how did I get it? Okay, first I'll show you this. See, two into determinant of one, one minus one, one. Now how did I get it? Get it is, first thing you need to understand that I'm going to expand my determinant, determinant along row one. I'm going to expand my determinant along row one okay so basically there are three elements two minus one and three fine now my first element is two my first element is two so two into now per, how did i get that other sub uh, sub determinant is see how did i get that other determinant is you need to strike off the row and column in which two is there okay strike off the column and row in which two is there now you see what I'm left out with one, one, minus one, one. So that's why I'm getting two into debt of one, one, minus one and one. Okay. Next. Now this is done. Now after this is done, let me just erase this. Okay. Now after this is done, my next element is minus one. My next element in the first row is minus one. Okay. But, but please make sure, please remember that here, you need to put a minus sign beside the center determinant will get a minus. Okay. Why and all like if you enter into cofactors and all that you will understand. But for now, just remember this fact that there would be a minus here. There would be a minus here. Fine. Now next. So minus of minus one now as it is the element you put it into 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 now see. Okay. Where did this go? Yeah. Now minus one minus one is in first row. It's in the first row and second column. So just cancel it off. First row and now to explain to you, I mean, I'm showing up. You don't have to cancel it in Excel. Fine. Now see what I'm left out with one, 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 one. That's what I have. One, 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 one. Same order. Follow the same order. Okay. Next, next. Okay. Let me just erase this first. Now. Now, uh, the third element is three. Okay. So plus three into again, just strike off the row and column in which three is there. Strike off the row and column in which three is there to under, to get the other determinant one, one, one minus one. Fine. Now I hope this is done. This is clear up till here. Hope it's clear the first step how I got it. Now next, next, uh, let me, okay. It's fine. If, even if it's there next. Now, how to get, how to calculate this uh, smaller determinant in case, you know, it's well and good. If not, just listen to me, I'll explain it fast. So this would be nothing but one into one minus of these two product of these two elements. Okay. Minus of product of 
these two elements. Likewise, this would be 1 into 1 minus 1 into 1. 1 into minus 1 minus 1 into 1. So ultimately, what I would be getting is this. Okay. 1 into 1 is 1 minus of, there would be a minus and minus sign in between, minus of minus 1 into 1. Okay. Next. Uh, this minus into minus would be plus plus 1 into 1 into 1 is 1 minus 1 into 1 is also 1. Now plus 3 into plus 3 into 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 minus of 1 into 1 is 1. So this is what I got. Okay. Is it clear? Because other determinants are going a bit fast. So please understand this. Next. 1 minus of minus 1. Okay. This minus into minus would be plus. So it would be nothing but 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 is nothing but 2. So 2 into 2 here I got. 1 minus 1 is 0 and minus 1 minus 1 is going to be minus 2. Okay. Minus 1 plus minus 1 is minus 2. Clear? Now next. Now next. So basically I have 2 into 2 is 4 and 1 into 0 is 0 and then 3 into minus 2 is minus 6. So 4 minus 6 is minus 2. Okay. So up till here I hope everything's clear. Next. If you will observe, if you will observe this delta is not equal to 0. Minus 2 is not equal to 0. Now, what does this mean? What does this mean that? This means that A is a non-singular matrix. A is a non-singular matrix. Therefore, capital A is a non-singular matrix. Is a non-singular matrix. Hence, Kramer's rule can be applied. Hence, Kramer's rule can be applied. Hence, the given set of equations, hence, the given set of equations, given set of equations can be solved by Kramer's rule. Can be solved by Kramer's rule. If delta is zero, you cannot apply Kramer's rule. Okay. You cannot apply Kramer's rule if delta is zero. Okay. I hope everything's clear up till now. Next. Next, as I told you, I need to find out another three things: delta one. Delta 2 and delta 3. Now, how would I do it as we see? See, now how did I get this delta 1? Okay, if you observe the delta here, if you observe the delta here, 2 minus 1, 3 and 1, 1, 1 and 1 minus 1, 1. The first column of delta, the first column of delta, the first column of delta, I'm going to replace it by the elements of D, means these three, 9, 6, 2. Okay, so basically I have 9, 6, 2 here and here the rest of the things are same. That's how I get my delta 1. Fine. Now again, the basic determinant expansion, I'm going to go a bit fast. 9 into delta of 1, 1, minus 1, this. And minus of minus 1 into, if you close this, uh, uh, you, I, I mean, strike of this uh, first one, you you get 6, 1, 2, 1. And then plus 3 into 6, 1, 2, minus 1. Okay, you can just hide this uh, row and column in which 3 is there, and then you would get this. Now again, let's go. So 1 into 1 minus of minus 1 into 1 would be minus 1. And the minus of minus is plus. Next. Next, and uh, 6 into 1 is 6, minus 2 into 1 is 2, 6 minus 2, that's what I have. And then 6 into minus 1 is minus 6, that's why I have minus 6, minus 2 into 1 is 2. Okay, I hope everything's clear up till now. Next, this would be 1 plus 1, which is 2, and then 6 minus 2 is 4, and then minus 6 minus 2 is minus 8. Okay, yeah, please be careful while adding uh, negative integers. Next, 9 to is 18, 1 for the 4 and 3 into minus 8. Minus 24, 18 plus 4 is 22. 22 minus 24 is minus 2. So delta 1 is minus 2. Fine. So I got my delta 1. Now next, how would I get my delta 2? How would I get my delta 2 is? See, this is my delta, this is my delta. The second column of delta, the second column of delta, replace it with the elements of D, which basically 962. So first and second, first and third columns would remain as it is. In the second column, just replace these elements with 9, 6, 2. 9, 6, 2. Okay. So hence I'd be getting, hence I'd be getting this 2, 1, 1, 9, 6, 2, and 3, 1, 1. Fine. Now let's get started again. 2 into debt of 6, 1, 2, 1, minus 9 into debt of 1, 1, 1, 1, plus 3 into debt of uh, 1, 6, 1, 2. Fine. Now let's get started. 2 into 6 minus 2. And then minus 9 into 1 into 1 is 1, 1 into 1 is 1, 1 minus 1, that's why. 3 into 1 into 2 is 2 minus 1 into 6, it's nothing but 6, fine. And 2 into 4 minus 9 into 0 plus 3 into minus 4. 2 minus 6 is minus 4, again, one more point to be removed. 2 minus 6 is minus 4. In case you're getting a few C. Out of 2 and 6, which is bigger? 6. And 6 has minus sign. So ultimately, the final answer will be a negative. 
okay remember this fine so 3 into minus 4 2 fours are 8 and then minus 9 into 0 is 0 plus 3 into minus 4 is minus 12 8 minus 12 is minus 4 so ultimately i'd be getting minus 4 okay now next delta 2 is done now how would i get my delta 3s how would i get my delta 3s this delta is there right this delta is there right in the delta replace the element replace the third column with the elements of d okay replace the third column with the elements of d like this one 311 in place of 311 write down 962 write down 962 so first two columns would remain as it is so hence i would be getting this 2 minus 1 1 1 1 minus 1 this would this was the same pattern than 962 okay let's go ahead this would be nothing but 2 into debt of like this 1 6 minus 1 2 and the minus 1 into debt of 1 6 1 2 and the 9 into debt of 1 1 1 minus 1 this is what is there how it goes i already explained it, uh, in the first determinant fine now next this would be nothing but 2 into 1 2 is our 2 minus of minus 1 into 6 is minus 6 okay next minus into minus would be plus 1 so 1 into 2 is 2 2 minus 1 into 6 is 6 so this that way i have 2 minus 6 and then plus 9 into 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 and then minus of uh, 1 into 1 is 1. Okay. Now basic simplification is already 2 plus 6, which is nothing but 8. 2 minus 6 is minus 4 and minus 1 minus is minus 2. So ultimately what I would get is, what I would get is 16 minus 4 minus 18. Okay. Next. So this is basically 12 minus 18, which is nothing but minus 6. That's it. We got our delta, delta 1, delta 2 and delta 3. Okay. What's left out? The only thing that's left out is just finding out x, y, z. Now by Kramer's rule, x is nothing but delta 1 by delta. We got delta 1 as minus 2 and delta as minus 2. Basically, minus 2 by minus 2 is nothing but 1. And then y is nothing but this delta 2 by delta, which is nothing but uh, minus 4 by minus 2. So minus minus cancel to 1s are 2, 2s are. Okay, and then z is nothing but delta 3 by delta. And then I got z as 3. So finally, therefore, the solution is x equal to 1, y equal to 2, and z equal to 3. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much for staying with me up till here. I, if you like this video solution, please hit the like button. This will encourage me to make many more of such videos. And if you, if this is your first time coming across to my channel, please do subscribe to it. Once again, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raukela. And currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Thank you.